almost two years ago, Silent Hill F was announced amidst a bunch of other Silent Hill projects. But to this day, two years later, it is still the Silent Hill shrouded in most mystery. And while the Silent Hill 2 remake is drawing closer, uh, we still have very little information about Silent Hill F. Or do we? Let's dive into what's there. My name is Hako and welcome into my channel. Let's have this playing in the background. So, Silent Hill F is the Silent Hill I'm most excited about. I'm a long term. I'm a lifetime Silent Hill fan, loved the series. Uh, when I was a wee, wee little kid, I would sit in the sofa hiding behind pillows watching my mother play through Silent Hill 1, 1 and 2 and also 3. I'm super excited about Silent Hill F. It is the project in the new like Silent Hill revival that uh, holds the most promise in my opinion. And I'm really hoping it's gonna be good. The trail, but kinda all we have to go by is the trailer. We got an announcement trailer two years ago, and after that, it's almost been dead silent. The trailer is super interesting. It uh, seems to have a big, big focus on flowers, flowers, vegetation, whatever you want to call it, and like a lot of flowers, like sprouting from dead bodies and whatnot, and. I don't know if, if that gives us some hint, perhaps we from death comes life. I don't know, it's up for interpretation. So I wanted to take a look at what we actually do know, and there is actually some things. So the Silent Hill F is spearheaded by, let's see so I don't mess up his name, Motoi Okamoto. I probably fudged that up a little bit. Uh, he's a former Nintendo producer. Uh, and he is the director of Silent Hill F. The studio handling it is, handling it is Neobard Entertainment. Now, this one worries me a little bit. <laughs> if we look at what they've done. Their portfolio, their previous works include... Um, Devil May Cry HD Collection. Marvel Avengers. If anybody has played Marvel Avengers, I... Yeah, it wasn't great. And it was... It wasn't met with love from the critics. Uh, quite undercooked and... Yeah, I, I, I played it myself, didn't enjoy it. Then they've also worked on Resident Evil Origins Collection. I'm not sure exactly what they... Uh, like... What they did since it's only the collection. like. Was their work only in getting both of the games on the same package, or they actually do work with the game? Then they've done Resident Evil Resistance. Now, you might, you may not have heard of Resident Evil Resistance, but it was the game duct taped to Silent Hill, no sorry, Resident Evil 3. And it was duct taped Resident Evil 3 to kind of excuse Resident Evil 3 being as short as it was. You got it for free, it was an uh, asymmetrical asymmetrical horror game, a little bit sharing some similarities with Dead by Daylight. A team of four survivors, which included characters from the game like Jill, Claire, Leon, etc. had to get through a set amount of maps and then there was a mastermind uh, trying to stop them by spawning enemies, etc. etc. Now, I didn't care much for Resident Evil Resistance. I have some friends that enjoyed it, but overall it was met with lukewarm reception and I bet the game is all but dead uh, in this day and age. Then they also did work on Resident Evil Reverse. When this... This one is, a, <laughs> is weird. Capcom released Resident Evil Reverse uh, slightly after Resident Evil Village. If I remember correctly, it was met with, I don't know, like such disappointment and negativity from the audience that uh, they decided to pull it back and let it cook some more. I believe since then it's re-released, uh, but it looked extremely mad. Everybody I know that's played it said that it, said that it was very mad. So just looking at Neobard's portfolio, it's not looking great. It's not looking great. Hey. I'd love for them to prove me wrong, and I, I'd love for them to prove me wrong. 
hopefully so until F is, is in very capable hands. So the writer, the guy responsible for the script is Ryu Kishu, Kishi, yeah, Ryu Kishi 07. Now he's done, he's done some work that I really freaking respect and I think could fit the series. He is the writer on author, whatever you want to call it, since it's a uh, vision novel, uh, of Higurashi no Naku Koroni, or Higurashi When They Cry, and also Umineko When They Cry, and uh, also some other ones. I've only seen Umineko and I've seen Higurashi. Now, those are excellent, excellent horror vision novels, horror uh, anime. Love them to bits. I have full faith in this guy. Absolute full faith in this guy. I believe he can do it. I believe he can do it right. I think he might be an excellent freaking pick for Silent Hill F, honestly. As a monster, uh, and for monster design, we are not getting Masahiro Ito back. Instead, we are getting someone called Kera uh, handling monster design, which is a little bit disappointing. I love Masahiro Ito to death, and knowing that he's working on the Silent Hill to remake puts my mind at ease so freaking much. I would have loved to see him on this, but alas, we're getting Kira. And I've done some research into Kira's work. I can pick up some monsters or show you some of the illustrations. Now, this one have, has very much the vibes of, of Silent Hill F. We still haven't really seen the enemy designs that we can be expecting in the game. They've also done the monster designs for Spirit Hunter NG. Hope I'm not misremembering that name. It's actually a game I have on PlayStation, but I haven't gotten around to playing it yet. If you played it in the comments, please, please let me know what you think of it. I might actually give it a go before uh, Silent Hill F releases. Seem to be a good artist, seem to be a good illustrator. So yeah, a, a, a little bit worrying that Masahiro Ito will not be working on monsters. Hopefully, Kera will do an amazing job of it. I'm sure they will. Just a hoping. They definitely know how to illustrate. Like this, this one looks cool as all hell. I like this one. Uh, I couldn't find any info about the composer. So I'm, I'm hoping and banking a little bit on that it will be Akira Yamaoka, which is the uh, which is the composer that has done almost all previous Silent Hill uh, music. He did the music for Silent Hill 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't think, I don't think it touched Homecoming or Downpour, right? And I know he's kind of re readily available for this kind of thing. Like he has done uh, the soundtrack to a lot of other, uh, like a lot of other horror projects. So it would almost surprise me if, if he wasn't also available for Silent Hill F. Uh, so I'm really hoping Akira Yamaoka will make a return because his music is as iconic for the series as the Fog is. So all in all, you have Neobodge being the studio behind it. It's being spearheaded by Motui. Shit, I forgot the name. Motui Okamoto. Let's see if we... He formed his own independent studio enterprise in 2008, which is stepped down from in 2018. Subsequently joined Konami. He's the lead producer of the Silent Hill series, spearheading the 2023 launch, relaunch. No, I'm pretty sure this is the guy we saw, uh, like during the briefing of uh, like showing off si the Silent Hill remake. Did it also say that he had something to do with? Yeah, Silent Hill: The Short Message. And I'd I'd say if uh, if this Silent Hill is connected to any Silent Hill, like I'd say, but just by looking at it, I kind of feel like it's more like closely related to Silent Hill F, which I found. I found that to be a really good game, so I'm hoping that's a good thing. 
Also interesting to note is that this is actually a prequel in terms of where the timeline is set. I think this is in 1960s uh, Japan. And instead of like featuring the iconic town of Silent Hill, we seem to be more delving into the Silent Hill phenomenon, uh, which, been, which has been established in Silent Hill F and also in Silent Hill Ascension. Also the F in Silent Hill F is kind of written like uh, like it is in music which stands for forte which means loud or strong so mayhaps mm, music will play a, will play a big role in it it, rem it remains to be seen so the silent hill phenomenon seems to be uh, something to take the medium forward i think i saw one of the producers talking about like in order to in order to continue the series they need to break free from silent hill hence establishing the silent hill phenomenon which is basically a phenomenon that is named from the familiar uh, famous town of silent hill and that's ha happening to people uh, in in like the outside world or like all, all around the world where Fog starts creeping up and your desires, guilt, emotions, etc. takes physical shape. We see this in Silent Hill Ascension and we see it in Silent Hill F. And personally, I, I think it could work. I think it could work. I know I saw a statement like relating to something like that. that like, the, yeah, they, they had to kind of go hard on the Silent Hill phenomena. Uh, used, to, yeah, used to be able to like break free from the physical boundaries of the town. Uh, so we are probably not gonna see the Silent Hill set in America or like USA, and Maine that we're used to. Instead, this seems to be taking pla place prim primarily, if not exclusively, in Japan. So we'll see. And flowers seem to be playing playing a big role and hinting by the by the f also perhaps music other than that we don't have super much to go on we haven't seen a gameplay trailer we haven't seen we haven't gotten a release date we don't have a release year there's a lot we don't have honestly and me personally i really hope that this project is is gonna be good. I really, really hope this project is gonna be good. Uh, I have high hopes. It seems they have some competent people on it. My biggest worry is Neobarge, that like the previous works have been kind of uh, not great. Uh, I think they picked the I think they picked the correct writer. He, he's probably gonna make an amazing story. And to be honest, that is gonna be probably more important than anything. And hopefully, we see the return of Akira Yamaoka would be amazing if he still composed the music for this i really want something left to succeed because uh, i don't necessarily think that the remake is gonna be like a 10 out of 10 su like super amazing i think it's i think the Silent Hill 2 remake is gonna be good and i talk about it in depth in another video if you're interested in watching that but smack it on the end uh, but i I am not sure that the Silent Hill revival can take, like, can survive Silent Hill F being mid to bad, uh, and also the remake being all right. Like, Silent Hill needs something really freaking great. Konami needs to see that Silent Hill still got it. Otherwise, I feel like Silent Hill Ascension has already failed. I think we can all, like, shake hands on Silent Hill Ascension was a failure. Nobody gave it more shot than I did, but yeah, I, I'll, I'll sign any paper. Silent Hill S, eh, sorry, Silent Hill Ascension was absolutely horrid. Cool concept, super bad execution, didn't work. So, Ascension is out, out of the game. The remake, I think it's gonna be good. Good to great. Uh, I think it's gonna be between a 7 and an 8 out of 10. So until F needs to be also around that mark, I don't think it can be a 5 out of 10, because I think then Konami is just going to look at all the money through at Silent Hill and nothing stuck, and then they're just going to can it all. Uh, 
I can do another video of why I don't put that, man, that much stock into Silent Hill Townsfall, but yeah, that's another video. So, I'll try to make it snappy. I want Ramble on. That's all we know, know currently about Silent Hill F. Stay tuned for more news. I'll be trying to cover Silent Hill as much as I got can. I stream online. Of course I stream online. Who streams offline? But I stream online on Twitch every goddamn day, more or less. If you want to come over there and chat some Silent Hill, please do. Come say hi. If you're excited about Silent Hill F, please put it in the comments. What's your hopes? What's your fears about Silent Hill F? And until next time, people, thank you so much.